Hello and welcome. Today's kit review is on the 1 to 200 speed grade Gundam. Now this is pre-molded, pre-coloured to the original Gundam colours. Um, I bought this in Sydney a few months ago when I went up to, to the Backup competition. Um, as you can see, it costs a whole of $7.95 Australian. Now, inside the kit, nothing left. Uh, inside the kit, we have all these pre colored sprues. Um, These are meant to uh, make the building process a bit easier for people who don't have the time or the patience to sit there and paint. Um, so what it comes with, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprues. The smallest being this one here, which is the actual face. Now these are actually all pre-painted, there's no stickers at all. You can see there um, comes with a small base as well. Stand with the RX-78 Gundam on there, with a action style base similar to the larger ones you can actually buy separately. Um, this sprue has the hands, standard hands. You got your fists, or you've got your trigger finger. This one we have the shoulder. As you can see, the decals are actually printed straight onto it. That's the caution sign for the shoulder armor. Um, the shield itself, again you can see it's pre-colored. Um, you will notice though a lot of these, as you can see around the edge, they're not real crisp. Um, as you can see actually down here too, there's a misprint there. Um, for what's actually printed properly, like the actual logo, the ESFS the logo, um, it's actually printed nice and clearly. Uh, this sprue is the weapon sprue. The only different colorations on this are the decals there on the backpack thruster and the different coloration inside the um, the actual lens of the the scope of the Gundam rifle. Um, weapons are traditional high grade style, split in half, so if you wanted to make them stuff like the bazooka here, you'd need to fill the seams in, whereas the actual beam rifle itself is one whole piece. Uh, this sprue, we've got the feet, again, coloured in, and the decals on the top of the feet. Uh, what's impressive is the actual head itself. Like the face, it's coloured in, but actually it's quite crisp and clear um, in the colorations of the, of the side vent and the falcon. This one here is the legs. We've got both legs again with the decals. The V fin itself, which has the center Red, but if you noticed it's actually gone over a bit so into the white there is a bit red um, and we've got the pink beam saber and finally we have the body now this is although there are quite a few mistakes with the colorations as you can see on the inside of the chest there the blues bled into the red um, some of the top here, I don't know if you see that, but um, the paint they've used is actually not quite, it's not quite right. Um, then you've got the areas like the yellow here, which is not, it's not a crisp colour. Um, it is quite impressive though that they've managed to do that without too much, well, too many errors. Um, very, it's very, very similar to the um, Easy Kit Rebel Easy Kit in the Star Wars range. Um, you might remember on my site you, you may have seen the X-wing. Um, that was a similar sort of situation. 
pre-coloured pieces that snap together um, but a lot were miscoloured uh, similar sort of thing the colours weren't printed correctly there was a bit of bleed through etc um, etc et and finally we have the instruction card which is just a it's just cardboard um, come in the box and why don't we see you got a few specs of the Gundam including pilot specs in Japanese of course um, and that's actual picture of the completed model on its stand um, then we go across we've got the different armaments so you got the rifle you've got the beam saber and the bazooka and then the shield and then we have on this bit here different types of Gundam kits um, so we've got the perfect grade the master grades the high grades and the HCM pros um, for those out of the know, HCM Pros aren't a model kit, they're a completed figure, uh, whereas the rest are snap fit model kits. And finally, last piece here, last section here, is just a brief run through on how to take the pieces off the sprues. Um, you may have seen one of my tutorials on my site regarding this, it's just a matter of uh, snipping off just past the edge of the part there and then just tidying it up afterwards and then just a quick um, demonstration on panel lining the spots where you should panel line slot uh, the front of the vent there and around the, the shoulder and this side is just our instructions just your basic Bandai instructions on how to build the kit